Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. How are Hello, you? Hello, Addison. Hola. Eh? No. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Hello. <laughs> Okay, guys, good evening. Let's just wait a little bit for Bye. your classmates. <clears throat> you may start greeting each other. That's good. Okay, okay. Question. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, let's turn on our cameras and be ready so we can start. You can start saying hello to your classmates. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello. Okay, I think we're ready, are we? Yes. Yeah, let's start. So um, let me do the attendance as usual. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Perfect. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Erwin Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Eh, nos quedamos ahora 10 minutos. Eh. Ok. Gracias. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. <risa> Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ives Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos Guzmán. There you are. Juan, can you hear me? Yes? Okay. Okay, thank you. Don't forget, guys, turn on your cameras. Let me see your faces. Let's start. So, where were we? Where were we? Carla Ivenia Cabrera Castro. Ivania, I'm sorry, Cabrera Castro. Yeah. Well, wait. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Cabrera Serrano. Okay, yes. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, come on, guys. Where were we? What was the last thing we talked about on Friday? Yeah. 
what are we studying? We're studying procedures, right? Procedures, what to do if something happened, remember? Okay, we started some cases. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees, remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. so what are the procedures we follow if one of these situations occurs. Okay, so now something we haven't done is follow um, the connectors, right? Remember, we just saw them in a conversation. So um, can somebody tell me what steps should I follow if a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order, if something happened with a customer in your job, what do you do if something happens with a customer? If a customer is very upset, tell me first. Then after that, finally, okay. Can you describe the process of any situation at your job? Okay, no. Carolina, what is your favorite color? Green. My favorite color is green. Green. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. What, teacher? Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Can you describe one simple process? A simple process, not a surgery. Something simple that you do at, at your job every day. Oh. <laughs> mm. Wake up uh, I am. First. Uh, first, wake up 5 a.m. I break up um, 10, break up uh, say no, 7 a.m. and go to the work um 6 a.m uh, arrive and the uh, arrive at work 8 a.m um prepare arrive in the hospital i uh, sanitize the hands and take the mask um around the busy the patients in the hospital mm. then okay let's practice a little bit of this okay everybody we're going to answer one question we're going to answer one question um Ada Susana we need to use the preposition at okay I wake up at 5 a.m. Then, so first I wake up at 5 a.m. Then I have breakfast. I have a breakfast at 6.30. After that, I arrive at work at about, okay, seven. And later I do my first round. I go around the hospital and check the patients check the patient conditions and so on so let's practice this what is the question that ada susena is answering what is the question that she's answering it's a very common question actually simple present a simple question okay what is the question what do you do Excellent. What do you do? What do you do during your day? In your day, mm, it's very common actually. What, never, do you, daily basis. what do you do in your daily routine? The daily routine, uh huh. What do you what do, do, you do every do? day? What do you do every day? Now try to say what, 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 what do you do? What do you do every day? 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 
what do you do every day? Okay, listen, every day is like every, every other day, you know, I do the same every day. I wake up at 4 a.m., I take a shower really quick, you know, sometimes I even fall asleep while I take a shower. But most of the times it wakes me up after taking a hot shower, sometimes cold shower, depending on the weather. Um, I get dressed, get ready, you know, and I leave the house. I leave the house because my job is far away from home. Um, sometimes I go to work by bus. Sometimes I have the car for me and I drive. When I drive, I wake up later. But most of the times I take the bus. I like it. I like to go on the bus. I meet new people, you know. And while I'm on the bus, I like to listen to music or to the radio for the news as well when I drive. At work, um, when I arrive at work, I start the day cleaning my workspace. And then after that, I order some pupusas, you know, and then I pick them up and have some breakfast with my co-workers. Then I start, finally, uh, the first thing I do at work is to prepare reports, send some emails, check the inbox, you know, as usual. And then I get ready to start with a daily routine at my job activities. At noon, I typically have a lunch with my coworkers, or sometimes I meet my wife and we have lunch together. Um, it's rare, but sometimes I go and do some errands at noon, you know? And after all that, in the evening, I leave work at four, sometimes at five, and rarely at 7 p.m. But then when I get home, I have dinner with my family. After that, we watch TV and that's it. Sometimes I read a book before I go to bed or the Bible, you know, and that's it. That's my last activity that day. Si se no, si notaron, yo no ocupé. Me lavo los dientes, me baño, me pongo los calcetines. Es lógico que todo eso lo hacen. Entonces, si lo notaron, fue un poco más como descriptivo en las cosas que hago y el decir por qué eso, por qué lo otro. ¿Ya? ¿Can you do it? Use conectores. Yeah. Did I use the connectors? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try it. I'm going to split you. Ask to your classmates. Hey, what do you do every day? Okay. Do you want a more pro question? Let's ask, how's a day in your life? How is a day in your life? Hey, how's a day in your life? Alan, how's a day in your life? Chaotic. <laughs> chaotic <laughs> really you see yeah you yeah. can do you can do it guys it's just a matter of being natural you know okay if you don't find a word and this will challenge you to find new words so it, thumbs up thumbs up for that thumbs up come out of the typical academy routine Okay, don't do the typical academy routine. I wake up, I brush my teeth. Okay, I take a shower and I wash my hair. Then I dry with a towel. No, okay, but use connectors, okay? It's a challenge. I know you can do it. Let's do it together. Let's go. Justin, wake up. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, hello. Hello, William. Hi. Hello, Melvin. Hello, Joey. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, everybody. Okay. Uh, uh, you, uh, William, what do you do every day? 
Okay. I woke up at 6.30 a.m. Then I start working at 8, 8 a.m. Then um, I check my emails. I send some reports. Sometimes I meet with my boss. Uh, rarely I visit my client. Um, I take a snack at 10 a.m. Uh, in the afternoon, I sometimes quote and send emails. And um, I always take attendance. That's it. Okay. Return the question. William, how okay. about you? How about you? Hey, uh, by the way, you say I have a snack. If you take a snack, you just grab it. If you have a snack. OK, okay. good. Keep it up. Uh, what about you, Elvin? Uh, I work at uh, 4, 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. Uh, I, I get up. For 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 a yen two, <laughs> uh, then uh, I take a shower. Uh, uh, then I I cook my breakfast. Uh, uh, I cook my breakfast. I at uh, four. Uh, go with my. I have to go with my work. I start work at 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I then I return to my house at 6 p.m. Uh, then I have to I have to do work uh, uh, homework with my son. Uh, between 16 and 17. Then I eat dinner and um, 8 p.m. I start my English class. Good job. Okay, let's say I have to go to my work. I have to go to work. Okay. I have to go to work. I have, I have to go to, I have to go my work. I have to go to, have to, to work. work. Go to work. I have, I have to. <laughs> I have to go work. Oh, I have to go my work. One, two, three. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. Now, I oh. have to go to work. I have to go to work. Got it. Perfect. Now, okay. Repeat, repeat. 6.30. 6.30. Look at me, look, look. 7.30. 7, 7.30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Ask someone else. Hey, what about you, Juan? What about you, Jose? What about um, you? Hey, what about? In my case, um, is out. Um, finally, finally, project. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. And what, what it's about the project uh, that you do? What is the project about? Yeah. <laughs> what is the project? About? In my case, uh, my job is human resource. Human resources. Human resource. Assistant and psychology. 
psychology. Yes. That's interesting. Psychology. It's interesting. Yeah. That's amazing, all the people that know in the classroom. Mm -hmm. what, what, right. else, what else, Marian? What else? Tell me. That's this field. Um, um, in my case, it's difficult. Um, the process uh, accountant. Um, the project um, education. Education, education project. Education project. For, ¿cómo se dice? Why do you say uh, pandemia, teacher? Pandemic. How do you say pandemia? How do you say pandemia? How do you say pandemia? <laughs> Pandemic. Pandemic. Okay. It's difficult because of the pandemic. Okay. It's difficult because of the pandemic. For the for the pandemic, it's not children in ONG. There are no children in the ONG? In the yes. ONG? In the ONG? Really? No ONG. No ONG. Okay. Uh, teacher, just um, an ask a question. In the case in English is is ONG is not a non-government NGO, NGO NGO I'm sorry yes you got it NGO. thank you okay. thank You're you welcome. thank you NGO NG NGO okay NGO no children for pandemic you, is difficult. you get a vacation no it's difficult uh, it's difficult for me It's difficult for me for because, because I have dinner and mm -hmm. after that uh, I start my English class with, English. with you. English. English. Yeah. That that's it all. That's it. That's it. That's all. Uh, okay. No. Uh, Gual, gual, no, it's gual the dog. Gual the dog, uh huh. Gual walk, the dog. Walk, walk, walk the dog. Walk, walk. Okay. I walk the dog. Walk okay. the dog. I, I give him a shower today. He was very happy. <laughs> He's sick right now with his feet. He's got something on his feet. Really weird. Anyways, okay, uh huh. Keep going. Ask someone else. What about you? Rene, what about you? Uh, I got a report. Um, check my email before I uh, go to the office. Mm -hmm. uh, before, before going to the office? Before going to the office. Uh, before going to the office. Thank a breakfast then I have a start my work at 9 a.m. I am um, my work my work the trying a uh, morning and the evening and um, finish 7 45 p.m. he got to house <laughs> that's good okay. Okay, keep going, keep going. Who's missing? Uh, Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, okay. Yes. Yeah. Collection for the children. Um, around three o'clock, um, I prepare me, my me coffee, other coffee. I like the coffee. Um, around 4 p.m., I go to my house and and then I I prepare for the for the class, and this is my day. And that's my day. That's my day. That's my, that's my day. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Turn. No must hear your sign. No must hear your crying. The maids feel up to me. Okay. So let's do some practice, okay? How's a day in your life? How's a day in your life? How's a day in your life? I need you, everybody, to pay attention to your classmate, whoever is speaking, pay attention and take notes. If you listen to a mispronounced word, to something missing, for example, if I say I have breakfast, 6 30 a.m. Mm. It's missing. At. at. Good, William. The preposition at is missing. If I say I go to work, I clean my workspace, I talk to my co workers, I have breakfast at work. What am I missing? Mm -hmm. William, uh huh. Everybody, what am I missing? The time, maybe. No. Why? Why uh, did you normally you don't say the time when you talk yeah. about your routine? Connectors, right, William? Yeah. Connectors. Yeah. Then yeah. after and also, but a hey, try to use but because if you use but, what happens with but? Is a contrast. There is a contrast. It's a contrast, right? So typically you will have like a negative idea or an opposite idea if you use but. Ready? So you're going to have 30 seconds on the screen. Let's see who goes first. Okay, Miriam Carolina. Here, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, let me just open a whiteboard. Oh, what am I doing? Wait, that's not what I need. I need a text thingy. Okay. Okay, uh, I need a timer, stopwatch maybe. No, timer or stopwatch, a timer. Okay, so let me select a small sound, cover your ears. That's too hard. No. That's too hard, right? Too loud. That is too hard. That's too loud. Uh, how do I reduce the volume of this thing here? Anyways, okay. Um, try this. Too noisy. Okay, where did they go? <laughs> too, too low? Is it too low now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yes. I, can, I can hear you now. Is that, that's okay, good. Me, that's good? That's a better, okay, good. Let's do it. I'm gonna set the clock for one minute. I'll give you enough time. Please talk, talk, talk. Don't stop. Okay, so we have medium first. Everybody else, pay attention and take notes. One, two, three, and let's go. Okay. So how's a day in your life? How's a day in your life? That was the question, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> How's the day in your life? One, two, three, action. Medium? Yes. Okay. 
How's a day in your life? What do you do every day? One, two, three, action. It's chaotic. It's chaotic for me. If check the emails uh, for projects. The, the answer, the telephone, um, seconds. The telephone. Um, and seconds, the seconds. And where the seconds, the social media. Social media and communication. For okay, thank you very much. Okay, so I'll leave your classmates to give you their opinion. Guys, what is our classmate? area of improvement the main area the main area of improvement right now problem organize your ideas organize your ideas okay mm -hmm. what else what else use connectors the use of connectors. I will say yes, the use of connectors. What else? That's it? It's so time. <laughs> she missed the subject. She misses the subject sometimes. Okay, missing subject. Mm -hmm. Which in this case is I, right? I, I, I. Okay, check the emails for projects. Okay. So let's see, um, yeah, connectors, right? First, first I check the emails for projects, okay. Then, okay, here. Y esta es una muletilla que todos podemos tener a este punto, okay? Y hay que eliminarlo ya, urgentemente. The answer, uh, the, the sería um, I, then I answer, and by the way, pronunciation, uh, Miriam, you say answer. Miriam? You say answer. 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 There you go. Uh -huh. Answer, answer, the telephone. And second, and you were like, and second, and second, okay. So yes, I... Uh -huh. Estoy de acuerdo con Alan, organizar nuestras ideas. Y más que organizar nuestras ideas, miren, es bien fácil. Hay que agarrar um, esa rutina que les decía yo. Subject, ok, sujeto, verbo, uh -huh. complemento. Uh -huh. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Corazones en positivo, en el presente simple, y luego solo le voy agregando los conectores y ya tengo todo el diálogo. So, Trate de armar de nuevo esto, preguntarse qué hago todos los días, cuál es mi rutina diaria, ¿ok? Y, okay. y el chiste también en este ejercicio, chicos, y va para todos, es como eh, explicar un poco más el porqué de las cosas. Ya, este, ya en un nivel intermedio ya tenés que explicar un poco más las cosas, no esperar a que, a que te saquen a cucharada las preguntas, ¿verdad? O sea, si tú dices, um, I check the emails for projects, Projects, uh, so you work in the government? Oh, do you work in um, beats? You know, and so on. Especificar un poco más, no? I check the emails for projects that are assigned to the company because we work with government projects or private projects. Um, I answer the telephone sometimes when the reception is this busy. Um, and so on. Y vas explicando el porqué de las cosas, ¿ok? That's very important. Ahora, ¿cómo corrijo esto, uh, Miriam? Busque, por favor, busque por favor en, en YouTube um, una técnica que se llama Just a Minute. Okay, jam. 
just um, a minute. Es un, un muchacho hindú, es un señor hindú que sale explicando cómo, cómo aplicar esto de just a minute. Así lo póngalo en YouTube, just a minute. Y le va a explicar una técnica que le va a ayudar a desarrollar ideas. Hágalo en español. Mi recomendación es esta. Hágalo en español primero. Okay, si yo le digo ahorita, hábleme de trenes. Tiene un minuto, un minuto. De eso se trata el ejercicio. Hábleme por un minuto de trenes. Y usted empieza en español. Ok, ya tengo las ideas en mi cabeza. Ahora las voy a decir en inglés. Al decirlas en inglés, lógico, me voy a trabar. Ok, ¿qué palabras no encontré? Y voy tomando notas. Ese es el punto. Examinarse uno mismo. Ver qué es lo que falta. Ok. okay. And that's it. That's it. Simple as that. Very good. Let's move. Thank you. Mira. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Let's go with someone else. Four more minutes. Just two more people and that's it. Okay. Fátima y Eugenia. Okay, Fátima. Same question. Hello. Hello. Okay, Fátima. Same question for you. Um, mm -hmm. How's a day in your life? How's a day in your life? What do you do every day? Ready? Okay. Don't stop. One, two, three. Everybody else pay attention. Go. Okay. First, my breakfast. So sorry, I breakfast in the world. I seven thirty. I am and say the email. Uh, I write report, but my boss, I I give check and rubber. That's it. Keep going. You have 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, I launch um, with, with co worker um, at noon. Uh, Good. Okay. Hi uh -huh, guys, I, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. What's your feedback? Connectors. Connectors, she used first and then one time. Uh-huh. Some more connectors, what else? Mm -hmm. I hear that she said that she go to work at, and then she said I am. A.M. Yeah. or A.M. I know I don't understand that. Uh -huh. so if it is A.M., if it, she was saying the time or. um, OK, so uh -huh. that's it. OK, uh, same same feedback. Uh, Fatima, I will say, organize your ideas. Organize your ideas. Do the diet. Okay, do the diet that will help you like that. If you do a, a diet every day, you know, a verb and a word. Todos los días hago un verbo y una palabra, un verbo y la palabra, cinco verbos, cinco palabras todos los días. Yo voy a lograr tener más vocabulario, que en mi opinión, eh, ahorita fue como el la área principal de oportunidad que tengo ahorita, Fátima, es vocabulary. Vocabulary. ¿Por qué pasa cuando yo no tengo vocabulario? Recuerden, tenemos un hamster en la cabeza que está dividido en dos. Entonces, el lado del español, la biblioteca de español está llena, sí, pero del lado del inglés, pues, faltan palabras. Y eso nos puede pasar a todos, hasta a mí. Créanmelo, a mí, háblenme de, no sé. Ay, señora, este punto. Bueno, sé un poquito aún de mecánica, hablen un poco de mecánica y... No sé cómo se dicen ciertas cosas o se me han olvidado, como decir tornillo, tuerca, uh, llave allen, o sea, inglés técnico, puede que aún se me olvide, no tengo vocabulario de eso. ¿Qué? Porque no lo ocupo todos los días y eso nos puede pasar a todos. ¿eh? 
It's very common. Don't worry. Requiere de años para poder tener vocabulario de todo. O leer mucho, okay? Good job. So vocabulary, Fatima, do the diet, organize your ideas. Y para organizar sus ideas le decía, jam, just a minute, just a minute. First, I have breakfast in the work. First, I have breakfast at work. Okay, at work. También puedo decir, chicos, at my job. Okay. I check in. Uh, I give check in. Sería I punch in. Marco tarjeta, Fátima. Fátima. Hola. Sí, es eh, marco tarjeta. No. Era. Era entregar cheques. I give oh, checks. I uh, give checks. Uh, mm -hmm. Checks. Uh, okay. I give checks to who? A quién? Proveedores. Oh, a proveedores? Okay, to mm -hmm. providers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, to providers. Good. I have lunch. Para los tiempos de comida siempre vamos a ocupar have. I have breakfast, I have lunch, I have dinner with co-workers. Okay, um, time is it 8.41. I want to do one more. Should we do one more? One more person? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll follow you. Yeah. Good, I'll continue with your demand. Someone else? I think it's Elvin. Yeah. <laughs> Elvin Arcides, Elvin Arcides. Okay. <laughs> good, get ready. Yeah. One minute. Okay. Don't stop talking, don't stop talking. Everybody pay attention. Okay. One, two, three. How's a day in your life, Elvin? Okay, I I, 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 I get up uh, very early. I get up at, at 4 a.m. And then I take a shower. Then I go into... Uh, sorry, I go to to work. I start at work at uh, seven a.m. and and then I ch uh, I check emails and check attendance at uh, at uh, eight uh, a.m. Then I have a breakfast. Then I I had I I had breakfast. Uh, I um I let me see. I meeting I meeting my boss at uh, ten a.m. <laughs> and uh, good. Okay. Um. Great job. Hi uh -huh, guys. I'm all ears. Organize a little more your ideas and use more connectors because he only uses uh, then. Then, 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 uh huh. Then, then. Then he said first, the beginning, uh huh. Good. Organize your ideas. Uh huh. Someone else. I would like to hear the others. Jocelyn, Isela, where is Isela? Here. What do you think? Mm, I think that is the way to pronounce some words like take. He said take instead of take a shower. And also, I don't remember the I don't remember the other word, but I think that he did a good job because he tried to to continue speaking. So I think that he only need to to try to to have more fluence. Fluency, I think that is the correct yes. way to say it. Yes. But mm -hmm. to and work with that with a with some pronunciations. I think that that is all. Easy, great job. Okay, 
So we want to organize our ideas, get more vocabulary. We want to have fluency, get more vocabulary. ¿Por qué es importante tener mucho vocabulario? Porque a la hora de um, que te ocurra esto, que es bien normal en los adultos, ante todo, según mi experiencia. ¿Ok? Cuando te ocurra que tenés mucho overthinking, repensar las cosas, man, y, y tenés como mucha duda, o sea, a este punto... Eh, tenés mucha inseguridad de lo que estás diciendo entonces es normal es muy normal ¿cómo quito yo el overthinking? el repensar lo que voy a decir me acoplo me acoplo, ok, busco más vocabulario y tener vocabulario te va a dar confianza y la confianza trae consigo la fluidez ahorita el, eh, sorry Ahorita el compañero mostró mucha confianza, mucho eh, valentía. Ya me molestí porque Elvin, Elvin estaba como dudando, pero no dejó de hablar. Y ese es el punto. That's the point. Esa es la clave ahorita. Ok. Sí, está bien que cometas pequeños errores. Vamos a corregirlos juntos. I take a shower, for example. I start at work, 7 a.m., Um, y aquí es donde yo como profesor me quedo eh, y quiero que entiendan una cosa el trabajo del profesor, de un buen profesor debe de ser meterse en la cabeza al alumno imagínate que yo que el trabajo de un profesor ahí les voy a enviar un video um, motivacional o que, para que me entiendan un poco de cómo yo he tratado de ser todo el tiempo um, de un español que explica esto meterse en la cabeza de los alumnos ¿Por qué dice lo que dice? ¿Por qué hace lo que hace? ¿Por qué piensa como piensa? Es yuca, le digo, como en buen salvadoreño. Es difícil, pero se puede. Y te acostumbras con el tiempo. I start at work. ¿Qué se quería decir? I start at work at 7 a.m. ¿O será que el compañero quería decir I start work? work. Working. Work. I start work. working, podría ser también. I start working at 7 a.m. I start working at 7 a.m. Present continuous. Okay. And so on. Okay. So many ways. I'm meeting my boss at 10 a.m. Y de nuevo. Um, I have a meeting with my boss at, seven, at 10 a.m. Is this every day? Is like a routine every day? I have a meeting with my boss at 10 a.m. Okay. Maybe, right? So I'm guessing. Elvin? Yeah. Yeah, it's a routine. Every day at 10 a.m. I have a meeting with the boss. Okay. Yeah. This time I check uh, the new project, check the, the goals every day. You check the goals every day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's your routine. So good job, Elvin. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good job. Okay. And again, how do I improve that? Make the question to yourself every day. Grab one question. What, how's the day in my life? Okay, I'm driving right now. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going to work. What time do I start? Eight o'clock. Okay, start thinking. Simple. Okay, we're missing 12. Let's keep going. So, and this had to do with connectors. Right? First, after that, did you study the connectors? Afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then, finally. Okay, let's see if you did. Look at the box above and complete the following paragraph. Add punctuation where necessary. Remember that the comma goes after the connector. After that, comma. And you start a new sentence. Subject, verb, complement. That's the way it works. Connectors, comma, subject, verb, complement, connector, comma, subject, verb, complement. Okay? And so on. So look at this um, paragraph. You're going to have just 10 minutes to work with your group and answer and read together this um, paragraph, okay? So remember, connector, subject, verb, complement. Connector, subject, verb, complement. 
and so on. So all of these are connectors, are missing connectors. So let's fill in the blanks together. Okay, you only have 10 minutes exactly, and I'll bring you back, okay? Okay. Hello. Hello, Carolina. Hello, Jose Antonio. Hello, everybody. Hello. Which page? Which page is it? Oh, it is page it is 20. 20. 20. Oh. 20. Oh. Okay. Um. First, um, well, it says, it says how to create an effective training manual. Um, it's first, 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 you have, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs needs or your employees and choose the processes processes you would like to improve in your company i think that is first mm. then, then. Mm. what is the next Hello? I think no. We can we can use after that. After that is necessary to write the content mm. and the buy this model of chapters. Chapters. After the And after our chapters, then you need to select. Hello? In the third option. Then, then you need to then. select select a manual. Yeah and decide if if extra digital content is necessary finally it's finally uh -huh. finally re revise the manual and print it print it print it oh, print it print it it print it ah, print it perfect okay now read. Okay. Practice reading, all of you, one at a time, okay? Go. Okay. Fully, fully completed the, the, this paragraph, that's correct? The, yeah, the, and then each one must read one time. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going. I'm gonna read. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the processes, and you will. After. After. That, and the after third that, one is. The third one is then, and the number four is finally. Finally, okay. Mm -hmm. Necessary finally in manual and print. Yeah, the yeah. last one is finally. 
What is the correct pronunciation title? Uh, we were talking about the correct pronunciation to say cansada because I remember the last time instead of say cansada, I, I said llanta. But the, for that reason, I don't remember what is the, the correct pronunciation. Uh, yes, you have to roll your tongue backwards and then let it go. So you say tired. Okay, you say that is tired. 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 There you go. Tired. And, and that is cansado. Cansado, huh? I'm tired. Do you remember again? Llanta? Again, a tire. Tire. I think that is the same. The tire, but remember, the context will help you. Tire. The context. For example, I have this big tire. <laughs> uh -huh. A big tire I have here. <laughs> yeah, that's a tire, but I'm. I feel tired. I feel tired. I feel tired. Remember. Vocabulary, that's why I'm telling you, if you have a lot of vocabulary, then you're going to replace the, the words right away. If someone goes like, what? You feel tired? You feel tired? No, I, I'm, I'm exhausted. You know, I, I'm in pain of working. I don't know. You see, I'm exhausted. I'm burned. Mm -hmm. You use a synonym and that's it. But yeah, the context will help you. And, okay, and what is the correct pronunciation of? Is revise, revise? Revise. Revise. That's right. Okay. If you already added all the connectors, start reading one at a time, one time each, how to create an effective, an effective training manual. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, let me start to to brief yeah. it if I have a mistake with some pronunciation. Okay, first you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the process you would like to improve in your company. After that, it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules uh, or chap capture or chapter. There's, and then you need to select a manual style and decide if, if, if extra digital content is necessary. Finally, revise the manual and print it. Print it. Yes. Print um, it. First, you have to complete an analysis. An analysis, I'm sorry. First, you have to complete an analysis analysis of the training analysis. needs. Analysis. Mm -hmm. Of mm -hmm. the training needs of your employees. And you said, print it. Print it. At, at last. Finally, revise the manual and print it. Okay. It's printed instead of printed. Yeah, you don't say print it or, yeah, it's it. It's it. Print it. Print it. Print it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if someone else wants to read. Yep. Next. Company. Then it is necessary to write the content and develop in in models of chap it. chapters. After that, you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Finally, revise the manual and print. Okay, repeat. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, revise. 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 Finally, revise the manual and print it. Okay, finally revise the manual and print it. Print it. Print it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, yeah okay. you were reading very good. Okay. Okay, who's next? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. First. Get over. 
Okay, so we are done. Next is William, go. Okay, William, read the paragraph with the connector now. Ah. Okay, I have to create how to create an effective training manual. First, you have to complete mm -hmm. an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the processes you would like to improve in your company. Then it is necessary to write the content and divide it into models or chapters. After that, you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. And finally, revise the manual and print it. Print it. Okay. Right, that word, it, it, it. Write the content and divide it in models or chapters. Repeat, it, it is here, it makes sense. Then it is necessary, it is necessary to write the content and divide it in models or chapters. Oh, and divide it in, oh, divide it. Mm -hmm. in models. Okay. Or chapters. Then, okay. Jenny, necesito que leas un poquito menos acelerado. Porque si no, vas a terminar con un acento hindú. Y no crees eso. <laughs> Fuera de broma. En serio, eh, trata de articular un poco más, William. No es la velocidad, sino la articulación, ¿ok? Sí, por, con cariño te lo digo, porque no hablo con hindús todos los días. <laughs> y y soy bien raro, no sé. Ok, so, let's clear that out, ok? So, Mira, trata de sonar sexy cuando hables. Así como, then you need to select a manual style. Eso hacía yo cuando estaba bicho. Y, y me ayudó, me ayudó bastante. A sonar como bien pro en el teléfono, que es lo que... Era la meta en su momento, ¿ok? And by the way, so finally, revise the manual and print it. Print. By the way, guys, you say analysis. First, yeah. you have to complete the analysis. Uh -huh. Analysis. Analysis. Yeah, analysis. yeah every, everybody is saying anal analysis. <laughs> analysis, <laughs> yeah. It's not a common word. It's not a common word. Okay, good job. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, sorry. Let's continue. So let me do the attendance first and then I will select two of you to read what you got. Okay, really quick. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fatima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro Sabrina Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero Present 
William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Albelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos. Present. Thank you. Ok. Thank you. Ok, let's continue. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes. A mí me mencionó, pero no habíamos regresado, creo yo. Sí, tranquila, ya. Yo le tomé la asistencia. Sí, vi que ahí estaba. Ok. So, eh, mm -hmm. recuerden en ese sentido, cuando ya vean la invitación de regresar acá, eh, acepten de una sola vez, ok? No se demore mucho. So, let's see. Um, Ada, let's go. Can you read, please? Ok. Uh, first, you have, no, how to create an effective training manual. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the process you, you would like to improvise in your company. After that, it's necessary to write the connect and divide it in modules of chapter. After then, you need to select a manual style and the seed is extra digital content is necessary. Finally, revise the manual and print it. Okay, good. Um, let's check. Okay. How to create an effective training manual. Okay. First, Ada, first. First. There you go. Okay. Then we have here and choose the processes you will repeat choose the processes choose the processes you would like to improve you would like to improve okay very good we say afterwards oh yo ocupe afterwards ustedes probablemente ocuparon then it's okay okay it is necessary okay then aquí decía then 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 you need to then you need to select a manual style. Then you need to select a manual style. Manual style. Manual style. You got it. And decide. And decide. Okay. Digital. Digital. Ojo. Aquí voy a hacer una pausadita. Digital. El estrés va en la primera sílaba. D. La G suena G. Digital y se lee content. No es content. Content, de hecho, es un adjetivo. I'm content. I'm a, I'm, I'm a content person. <ríe> content. ¿Ven qué importante? Uh -huh, es importante la entonación. So, digital. Uh, digital. Content. Content. There you go. And finally, you said printed. Printed. Yeah. Ok, paréntesis a todos, esto es el objeto, no es el sujeto, y los objetos it se leen como et, y no es him, es him, it, so you say et, him, et, him, them, them, ok, remember, object pronouns, ok, let's continue, one more person, Johnny Vladimir, <laughs> ya estaba leyendo, <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, third, you have to complete analysis of the training needed of your employees and choose the processes you would like to improve in your company. After war, it is necessary to write the content and divide in model or chapter. Then you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Finally, revise the manual 
in printer. Okay. Good, Johnny. Uh, let's see. Analysis. La mayoría estaba diciendo análisis. Analysis. Analysis. Ajá, estaban diciendo la mayoría. Analysis. Es analysis. Okay, complete anal analysis. Complete an analysis. Complete an analysis. Repeat, everybody. Complete an analysis. Analysis. Complete an analysis. Complete an analysis. Complete an analysis. Complete an analysis. There, there you go. Acuérdense. Join the words. An analysis. Okay. Analysis. Of the training needs. Final sounds. Needs. needs of your employees. Very good. Uh, afterwards. Johnny. Afterwards. Afterwards. Okay. afterwards. Johnny. Right. Right. right, right, right. Okay. Right. Then you say divide it, divide it, divide it, divide it, divide it. Okay. Divide it. I, and again, the stress of the syllable content, digital content, content, content. digital content. Mm -hmm. Manual. Manual. There you go. Okay, guys, I'm going to record this so you can go back to the video. Recuerden que pueden volver a ver el video eh, cuando les envíe el link. So pay attention. How to create an effective training manual. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the processes you would like to improve in your company. Afterwards, it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules, modules or chapters. Then, you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Finally, revise the manual and print it. Okay, so vuelvan al video después, pueden volver a ver esa parte. Eh? Repeat, 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 repeat until you get it. Get it, got it? Got it. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, now you have a job. <gasps> Got a job. Yes, you have a task to complete. Write a 10 line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace. Use transition expressions from the box at your workplace. Let me think. I remember in 2005, 2004, before working in a call center, before working in a call center, I used to be an administrator assistant, just like um, Miriam said, um, she's an administrator assistant, a human resource assistant, said Miriam. So, I was a human resource assistant. I was the accounting auxiliary as well. And I used to do the payroll. <laughs> All of that <laughs> was me. Also, I used to pay the providers, you know, do the conciliations, the bank conciliations and adjustment. And on top of that, on top, on top of that, the cherry in the ice cream. <laughs> the cherry in the ice cream. I I was running a, a cooperative, a cooperative, yeah, for the employees. So one of the processes, I let me be back in that moment. Um, first, I have to check the bank accounts to see if there's money in the bank account. If there is money, number two. I have to check the payroll 
see how much money will I need to pay the payroll, okay? In this, everybody, how do you say quincena in English? Mm -hmm. Okay, in this quincena, how do uh, how much do I have to pay in this quincena if I have 53 employees? Okay, so I check the total. Then, so there is money on the bank account. So I go to the general manager and I ask for his approval. I tell him, okay, look, this is the payroll. We need $45,000. I don't know, I'm just making up things, okay? I, I, we need $45,000. And in the Cuscatlan Bank account, we have $47,000. In the Bank Agricola, Agricola's bank, we have um, $57,000. Where do I take the money from? He used to go, oh, use the Cucatlan Bank. Okay, good. Can you sign the payroll? Yes. Do you authorize the um, withdrawal, the money withdrawal of the account from Cucatlan? Sure. Okay, sign here, please. Okay, thank you. Then I go back to my desk, go to the system, and I... The, and I do um, an electronic transfer to all of the um, employees accounts. But first I have to check the bank accounts. Everybody has a bank account. Oh, Juanito doesn't have a bank account. You go to Juanito, Juanito, where's your bank account? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a bank account. Uh, this is my first payment. Oh, okay, not a problem. So I check with Juanito and tell him, bring um i'm gonna issue a check for you and he goes okay not a problem so i have everything ready after that go back to the bus here it is the final payroll and this is the is you know the social security payroll this is the um ifp payroll okay sign it okay thank you agree let's go Okay. And finally, I make the transaction and process the payment for everybody and everybody's happy. Ooh, money. Okay. That's one of the processes I used to do. Ooh, 2004. 2004. So how do you say Kinsen in English? I can't remember. Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite? Fortnite? <laughs> like the game? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's Fortnite. Is that the only way? Is there a synonym for Fortnite? Mm -hmm. No, I can't believe it's Fortnite. Uh huh. Yeah, it's the different. If it's a different spelling, right? Fortnite. There was another word for Kinsena. Okay. Bi so bi-weekly, I get paid bi-weekly. Yeah, that's the best payment. Every other Friday, hey, another connector. And I love it. Every other. Do you use that, Isela? Every other. Do you, have no, you, you never used it? Uh, for example, I take a shower every other day. I take a shower moon. once in a blue moon. Hey, good one. Yeah, oh. that's a good one. Okay, um, so I get paid every other Friday. Do you get paid every other Friday, Isela? Mm, it's the same as bi weekly, yeah. Yeah, every but other not... Friday. One Friday, yes, one ah, okay. Friday, no. Friday, yes, one Friday, yeah. no. That's the best method because September, for example, you get three payments. That's awesome. Okay, good. So let's do this. You got the idea. One process at your job. One thing that you do. Okay, describe it of your job. One process, okay? But remember, it's 10 lines, 10 lines, and you have to write on your notebook. 
Okay, let's do it together in small groups. Let's go. One, two, three, five, one, two, Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, Elvin, describe your processes. Mm. Process. Uh, let me see. Mm. Um, Process. In my case, I describe when a container don't have a space for more dozen. Uh, I I I can I can uh, write the memo must be passed to the then they do a boss uh, each department and uh, the memo to uh, to bear the size or the hall of logistica and plan manager is very necessary is is you uh, is you uh, leading in the system if, if you don't uh, if you don't write a memo uh, doesn't uh, doesn't uh, you do the sorry if you if the is do is if the right memo uh, the docent don't exportation or don't do, yeah don't exportation this is a um let me see how describe a process in my company but but i try describe sorry <laughs> Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's write it. Everybody on your notebook, write a 10 line process that you do in your job. Okay. Remember, okay. use connectors first, then after that, finally. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Uh, I contract. Yeah, yeah, contract a new employee. Hire. What would be? Hire new employees? Yeah, the process. First, the process. Yeah, public. The, 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 uh, Pub the, publish. 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 The position. Uh, publish the position. Publish the position. Publish. In uh, where? receive the receive the the, the, paper. <laughs> the, the curriculum. Como se dice, teacher? The resume. The resume. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Resume. Receive resume. the resume. Hey, but wait. Don't you have? Don't you have to create the profile first? The desired profile. What kind of person you want? What position are you looking for? I think that will be the first step, right? To determine, okay, I need an accountant. What does he need to know? Oh, he needs to be young, a man or a woman. Mm, he needs to be smart with computers. Okay, good with Excel. Okay. And so <laughs> So I need I need to create I need to create the profile number one, number two. Okay, I need to publish. Okay, publish the advertisement. Publish the advertisement, and decide decide if I'm going to do it on the newspaper or just social media. Okay, or the radio. What what am I going to use? Right. Good. Yeah? And finally, I need the approval of my boss. Hey, what do you think? Like it? Good. 
Okay? Yeah. Let's do it. And then you start receiving resumes, analyzing the resumes, <laughs> doing interviews, and deciding who, who's going. Okay, good job. Now remember, use connectors. Okay? Okay. Hey, what would it be? The, the procedure to improve export performance and because uh, the best athlete uh, performance, um, the, the right uh, uh, planning, um, a final, uh, the final, uh, uh, I don't know, um, no sé cómo decirlo. Quiero que lo hagan para... Lo tienen que hacer para mejorar. They have to do it uh -huh. to improve. Oh, yeah. Okay. Remember, you have, have to, you have to write, okay, write a 10 lines paragraph. Describing oh. the process, describing the process. And that's the purpose, to, to, to correct yourself, correct yourself. I don't know, no sé cómo decir esto. Uh, okay, Google. Let's Google it. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Ah, pues, espera. Ah, pues, pues, voy a terminar primero. Yeah, let's, let's write it first. Okay. Okay. With feedback, give a feedback and and making a auditory, I think that is the correct way to pronounce it. And, auditing. and, and after that, sorry. And auditing what? Auditing, yeah, auditing cases and giving feedback. And after that, I moved to, to um, QA backup. I was wor working the work working with them for for three months or more. And then I had to go back to take calls. And mm -hmm. at the end I applied for the for this position. I got the position in the in the second in the second time, in the second attempt. Mm, okay. Yeah. And for example, when the customer escalate the agent, you receive the call. Mm, no, actually, I think that 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 is a tier two, like a tier two. I'm going to be a, a team manager. I'm going to have a, a I think that 15 agents mm -hmm. to work with them and and their <laughs> metrics and making action plan to improve the the numbers the or reach the yeah the goals yeah either okay, the, guys. the agents so <laughs> what is the metric awesome i'm sorry awesome um remember you have to write <laughs> a 10 line paragraph because you're going to read it I'm sorry. in front of the class i'm glad to hear Wait. that you're growing it's amazing. Good job. Don't get stressed. Don't take things personal. And you will do awesome as a team manager. For sure. Okay. Thanks. So we cannot, we cannot, como se dice, improvisar. I don't Improvise. Know. I wouldn't recommend you. That's the point. Improvise. That's the point. If you want to improvise, make sure you do it right. The whole point of the exercise of writing this is uh for you to correct yourself before mm -hmm. you speak that's right and reading mm -hmm. okay i don't have a notebook but let me I try with the cell phone. <laughs> i don't yeah. i don't have a notebook i don't have okay. a notebook okay <laughs> i'm gonna ask okay. you one question it's yeah. a connect this word first of all a connector, if that's a connector, 
yes, is, this is this, is, is this a connector? First is first of all a connector? Yes, it is. Yes. Instead first, of first, first, instead of first, you can say first of all, you have to, yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's common use this word for, okay, for example, hi guys now i'm going to talk about my routine the first of all mm -hmm. i will have to for example um, be careful yeah but first of all i will ask you to pay attention okay uh, uh, first so, of all okay. another another example Okay, first I wake up in the morning at 5 a.m. Oh, but no, first of all, wait, 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 first. I know, I know, wait. <laughs> first I wake oh. up in the morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, but wait, first of all, I do my prayers before I wake up. Mm. See? So, primero, me levanto las cinco media. Oh, pero antes que nada... Okay, in primer lugar, hago mis oraciones. First, primero, first of all, antes que nada, primero que nada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, I got it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep it up. Okay. Sí, te... sí yo, yo creo que, o oh, no sé, si le agregamos algo más. Finally, I do the report. I do the report. I do the report about pollution and send. Okay. You okay. got it. Um, have we written okay. the ten lines about one process? Yes, teacher. Did awesome. Okay, can you read it one time? Okay, supervise the personnel. It's a process. First, I take attendance in the production department. If someone is late, I have to do a permission. Then I check the machines and check the areas are clean. If I have a problem with a machine, I call the technician. Uh, finally, I do the report about production and send to my boss. And send them to my boss. Mm -hmm. Send it. Send them. Uh, if you're doing okay. re reports, it's plural, right? Mm -hmm. so I'm se and uh, send them to my boss. Send them. Ah, okay. 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 Send them to my boss. Okay. Okay. Let's go back then. We're, I'm just missing one more group. You should read it again. Read it one more time. Make sure you got it right. Okay. 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 Uh, Assignment. Assigned. Assigned. Seria A-S-I-E. Después de la G-E. D. Assigned. No. Assigned. Assigned. Pero ahí le falta una N. Después, antes de la G. Así. Así. No. No. O payment department. Se escribe así. Pero, pero, ¿qué queremos decir? Al departamento asignado. Asignado. Pero es que es asignado es assignment. Assignment. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. Assignment, ¿no? Mm. 
Finalmente, el cliente tiene que pagar o debe pagar en el departamento asignado. Finally, sí. the customer must pay in the assigned department. Assigned. Assigned. In the assigned. ¿Sí? Assigned. No. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, there, there. Uh, uh, ahí. There you go. Assigned department. Mm. Corresponding department in the assigned department. Okay. Yes. So first, I received documents about medical, about medical claim acerca, acerca de reclamo médico. Acerca de reclamo médico. About yeah. the, about the medical claim. Okay, uh, then uh -huh. I have to review the documents and fill out the form. That form is necessary for the person who made the payment. After that person. Ah, pero es que aquí, espera, que aquí tenemos un error de, de tiempo, porque como es que el, el fulano ya pagó y estamos diciendo que debe pagar al final. No, eh, sí, sorry. Eh, sí, la última parte no es así. Vale. ¿Cómo es entonces? Consumer, ¿Ya pagó? entonces? Sería. Solo the tendría. Consumer, ajá, el customer. ¿Qué debe hacer el, custom, el, el cliente al final? Eh, the customer passes. Or the part. Or. Sería. Or the department. The payment. El cliente pasa al departamento de pagos. Pero no paga antes o paga después. Eso es lo que no me queda claro. Vaya, él está presentando documentos para que le reintegren el gasto que ya hizo. Ah. Entonces, digamos que estos son los pasos que le está presentando el formulario y su factura ah, entonces para que se le autoricen de... y le reembolsen. Ah, ok. Finally, the customer must receive the credits. Receive the credits in the assigned department. En ese okay. caso se le llama créditos cuando, right. cuando se hace un reintegro, right? un chargeback, un reembolso. Um, ok, hay ciertos errores de dicción aquí. Vamos a ver. Uh, that form is necessary for the person who made the payment. Uh, para la persona que hizo el pago. Ok. After that person have to match to attach the invoice. Ok. Después esa persona, después de esa persona o después de después esa persona. Después esa sería, ¿no? The, after, okay. that after coma, mm -hmm. después, coma, after, ok, después esa persona. Third y por time. cierto, ok, third person has to. Es has, cierto. Has to attach the invoice with the form with the form for getting um, to get okay, form for form for send a raro uh -huh, a form to get authorization and to be present with the medical auditor or for the medical with. audit for, with the medical auditor with. Acuérdense y no descuiden el hecho de que les he dicho a todos en la clase, su área principal de oportunidad ahorita son los conectores, las ah, preposiciones, las prepositions, with, for, to, from, todo eso, ok? So, to be present with the medical auditor. Finally, the customer must receive the credits in the assigned department. That's it. Got it. Teacher, mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a doubt. In this case, when you use there at uh, first, for example, fill out the form. Um, as far as I know, that you don't need to use the word that then because is you are preferred at first that the form isn't is like you don't need to use the okay with the form the to get the authorization. The third line. The third line, right? Okay, after that person has to attach the invoice with the form to get authorization. Of course, yes, you need the article. Agregas el artículo de antes de nombres comunes. The beach, the form, 
the doctor, the document. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. no, en español. Bueno, yo había entendido de que si usted lo usa al principio um, de la oración, eh, o el párrafo que está utilizando, ya no es necesario utilizarlo porque ah, ya lo utilizó. Al pero, Alexander, depende de él, de la preposición que estás utilizando. Mm. Ajá, bien, pasémoslo al español. Después, esa persona tiene que um, adjuntar la factura, digamos, la, um, el crédito fiscal, lo que sea, con forma, si, si no estuviese el de, sería con forma para obtener, um, ok, la factura con forma um, y la, la forma con la forma, ok, la factura con la forma. Ahí sí. Sin embargo, se sobreentendería, se ocupó end, ok, has to attach the invoice and the, aún así, the invoice and form, the invoices and forms, ahí sí, the invoices and forms, si lo pluralizo sí tiene más sentido, the invoice and form, Mm, se acepta. The invoice and form. Ahí sí puedo eliminar el the, pero siempre yo te recomendaría que lo agregues. Okay? Okay. The invoice and, with the form, the invoice with the form, with the documents, with the bills, with the proof of address, whatever. Ok, siempre el okay. The, the, the. Ok, good, good, good. Let's see, and that's it. Good job. Now, that's not 10 lines, but, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. It's very explicit. So we're good. Let's go. Okay. We're just waiting. Let's just wait for your classmates, 30 seconds. There we go. Okay. Group number one, Elvin, Miguel Angel, Miriam, Carolina, and Sandra Elizabeth. I need one of you, just one of you to read its paragraph. Okay, teacher. Me, Miguel. Okay, Miguel. Okay, in my work. Wait, everybody else, pay attention, take notes. Yeah, okay. Every day I take out a report of medical claims present by the employees in my company. First, I download the system report and second, open Excel. Then I create dynamic table. Is correct dynamic table, teacher? Dynamic. Dyna di dynamic table or dynamic? Dynamic. Dynamic. Okay. Then I create dynamic table to organize all the information. Then I have to create graph to present the data. And after that, uh, I save the report and send it to my boss. After I send it to my boss, I use this same report to prepare the work of my workers. Um, I divide the case in 50-50 and give them to you to do during the day, for example. And finally, I prepare a presentation in Prezi or PowerPoint and we show it with my boss to the general manager of the company. And this is the process. Okay. Feedback? Areas of improvement? Se supone ah, que los sí, seres humanos sí. somos buenísimos para hacer criticones, así de que demuestren ahorita. Ok. Pronunciation. And... Pronunciation. Pronunciation. For example. Ah, pronunciation and 
Body language. Okay, body language. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> We're virtually. <laughs> yeah. You mean confidence, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, confidence. Okay. Hey, but an example. What what uh, pronunciation? An example of mispronounced word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dynamic. Uh, uh -huh. Presentation. Uh, what he said? Presentation, not yeah. oh, Okay. Presentation. Okay, presentation. Shin. Okay, um, my main area of improvement, um, I think it was Miguel, right? Yeah, Miguel Angel? Yeah. Okay, so my main area for you, look at the chat. Articles. Yeah. Articles. Articles. I create dynamic table. I create a dynamic table. I create a dynamic table. Then I create a, a graph. Okay, I create a graph. Graph or graphic? Graph. A graphic. A graphic. Okay, very good. Okay. Yes. Okay. My workers or my co workers? My co workers. My co workers. Co workers. Co workers. Co workers. Co workers. Good. Excellent. Only that. Other than that, yeah, as Alexander said, a little bit more of confidence, you know. That's it. <laughs> you can try it. Okay. Ada, Fatima, Johnny, or Jocelyn? Group number two. Uh, okay, teacher. In this case, we made something different. We follow the connector, but in this case, we uh, wanted to do, we wanted to do something different like to uh, job promotion. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay, what's the procedure to get a job promotion? Yes, uh, first we are, uh, we want to looking for a new employee and we need in our team someone who, we need in our family. If you are young, you are good using Excel, uh, intermediate English, at least two years of experience, please join us. First, you need to send your resume to our website, www, second way for the call, and we will organize you an interview. Then, if you are hired, you need to take a training for one month. After, take an exam to notify if you are ready for the position. And finally, if you start working with us, you get the, the next benefits. First, you will get a salary for $700 per month. And you will, your schedule will be from Monday to Friday, for, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's what we are looking for. Feedback? She did really a great job, but um, my, in my humble opinion, I believe that she needs more working on articulation. For example? Um, when they pronounce some word, I didn't work for month, for example. Um, month. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I don't think that the pronunciation of after, after. I don't know if, if she said after yeah, with with s. Yeah, that's very common. After instead of after. 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 Okay. Anything else? I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the correct pronunciation of? Resume, resume. 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 Okay. Why? Why resume and not resume? You resume a video. For example, if you're watching a DVD movie, you pause. It's not pause. Hey, it's not pause. It's pause. You pause the movie, okay? Then you go to the bathroom. When you come back, you resume. Resume. You resume the video. But 
as curriculum vitae, as CV, because that's Latin, by the way, curriculum vitae is Latin, uh, CV, you can call it CV, bring your CV or bring your resume. Okay, bring your resume. Okay, we won. Sorry? Continue. Yeah, CV is more common, not in America. Not in good American, they say resume. Do you have your resume with you? Can I see your resume? Yeah. We want to looking for a new position. Um, we are looking. We are looking for oh, no, no, no. We want to look for a new we position. You were explaining, right? We want to look for a new position. Intermedial language, intermedial English or intermediate? Intermediate. Intermediate right, English. intermediate level, intermediate English level. Intermediate level. Okay. Website and website, website, website. Uh, guys, I would recommend you to practice this word exaggerating website, 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 website. Yeah, not an easy word. We will organize you an interview. Who can help we me? We will organize you an interview. What other word can you use instead of organize? Or arrange. We will arrange you an interview. Still sounds strong. <laughs> uh -huh. Another one? Schedule. We will schedule a meeting for you. We will schedule a meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. We will schedule an interview. We will schedule an interview for you. We will schedule an interview for you. Take an exam to notify if you got the position. Mm. Take an exam and yes. no, it's okay. Take an exam, but to notify you, that's not the purpose of the exam, right? Take an exam. And then we will notify you. And then we will notify you if you got the position, good. There, that's we are looking for. That's what we are looking for. That's what we're looking for. Repeat, Jocelyn. That's what we're looking for. That's what we are looking for. Again, that's what we are looking for. That's what we are looking for. That's what we are looking for. There, there, be careful. That's what we are looking for. Okay. Just one more. What time is it? 9.53. We still have time for one more person. That's what we are looking for. And group number three is composed by Alan Christopher, Carolina Yvette, René Madrid, and William Alexander. Mm -hmm. Or a volunteer from group four, five, six. Carlevania, Claudia, Isela, Juan. Who wants to read its um, procedure? Got the hippos. Uh huh. One more person. Okay. Um, well, we are. We talk about the first. We talk about what are we doing in our jobs, right? And uh, for example, the most uh, common that we uh, complain that is a transportation company. Um, uh, for example, Carolina uh, is on the on the office that try to uh, organize the documents of the truck drivers and uh, it's like a is checking all the document that is on a platform of the customers and in all time it's checking mm -hmm. on the main uh, system that it's all it's okay like the license is not uh, uh, it's not expired or uh, for example that the passport is in the it's okay and for the, uh, the truck driver to travel to the other countries and the well that they say that one of the the, the partners says that 
They used to check the medical reports, assistance, and create dynamic tables. Oh no, let me check the other one. Uh, like planning trainings, procedures, and try to develop an app and make a performance of that apps like a uh, like a programming system. Um, hmm. After okay. that, thank you, Alan. I think we don't have no, we don't have much time now. Uh, but what's going on here? Someone, someone. How did you like it? How did you like Alan's speech? Well, actually, um, he missed a uh, final sounds like for at the at first. He said we are to talk about, and he, he said as well, used to check, used to used to check. Is it check? No, it's okay. He, he, we used to check. Used, used, to. To, used to check. Uh -huh. To check. Usado para chequear. Used to check. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Final sounds is one of them. Uh, but I will say you, you speak very well, Alan. And you have a lot of vocabulary. But you hesitate the way I'm doing it right now. <laughs> so you know it's just confidence. Solo te falta confianza porque hablas súper bien. Ya tienes bastante vocabulario en extenso. Pero titubeas. Así como. Y lo que le estaba pasando a él bien al principio. Titubeas. No titubeen. Sueltate. Suéltense. All the document that is on the platform. Ahí sí me está. All the documents that are in the platform. Or the document. The documentation. All the documentation. That is in the platform, on the platform. Okay. We have documentation, all the documentation. Si digo all the document, y si go en singular, mm, no. All the documentation that is in the platform, I see. Lo trato con un grupo. Good. That's the only thing. Other than that, confidence and we're good. Okay. okay. I'm staying with Mr. Fernando Ernesto tonight. For the rest of you, good night and good fight. I'm just going to do the attendance one last time. <laughs> Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Uh, porfa, enciéname sus cámaras, Claudia, Jocelyn, and Roberto. Thank you. Uh, hum, hum, Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano, Carlos Armando Duarte, Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Antes de que se vayan todos, nos recuerden que hoy en la medianoche es la hora final para que hagan su midterm si no lo han completado. Yo creo que la mayoría lo hizo ya. Miguel Ángel Paz, Landa Verde. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Roberto Good night. Luis Sumaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you. See you, Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, good night. Good night, Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present, good night. Good night.
Okay, Fernando Ernesto, good night, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine, a little tired, but I have to try to, to improve my, my skills. Awesome. Okay, bien. Esta es nuestra primera sesión, creo, ¿no? Eh, sí, es nuestra primera. Okay, bien. Yo suelo iniciar esas sesiones uno a uno como preguntando dos cosas. Eh, uno, sí, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia en cuanto a, a tu experiencia en cuanto a haber tenido curso de inglés? ¿Dónde has estado? Eh, ¿Qué fue lo que ayudó? ¿Falló? ¿Te, te sí. gustó más? Y eh, qué estoy haciendo, más importante, qué estoy haciendo ahorita. Aparte de la clase, solo recibo la clase o ya, ya. Bueno, pues este, eh, yo la experiencia, este, este, este curso quizás es el primero que tengo así seriamente. Yo tengo apenas 29 años ahorita. Eh, en 29 años el curso verdadero que he tomado así es este. Eh, empecé en el módulo 1, módulo después eh, por la pandemia pausamos porque estaba con otro proveedor, con el Insaford. Luego, ahorita en el curso 3, en la parte 3, desde el curso 3 estoy aquí con Regal. Uh -huh. Y bueno, este, eh, bueno, el, el inglés que yo he aprendido desde que eh, el colegio bachillerato ha sido bien básico, no, en realidad era como que más estructura y al final uno solo, la, la estructura era como la matemática, solo poner, poner uno más otro, más otro, más otro en, en oración, pero en sí nunca entendí la verdad cómo era hasta que empecé el curso, la verdad. Uh -huh. Pero... Pero, o sea, la mayoría del vocabulario en inglés que tengo y todo, bueno, yo soy ingeniero de sistemas y toda la documentación de, de todo lo que utilizo, los, los software programs, eh, documentación de desarrollo de software, eh, lenguaje de programación, todo está en inglés. Entonces, la mayoría de inglés que he aprendido ha sido por eso. Me toca, yo puedo leer inglés, eh, puedo interpretar el inglés y no tengo problema con consultar todos los días. Bueno, mi trabajo consiste en eso. O sea, cuando yo no encuentro solución a algo, comienzo a indagar y ver sus foros, veo documentación del de, de lenguaje de programación y todo, todo está en inglés. Entonces, yo no tengo problemas con eso. O sea, mi problema es expresarme, o sea, tener vocabulario y, y gramática, gramática y vocabulario. Porque al final, este, yo a la, a la hora de leer, si sí hay palabras que las conozco y veo cómo están enlazadas, pero que a mí se me ocurran por, mis, por, por mi cuenta, a la hora de escribir, sí cometo muchos errores. Y bueno, este, yo día a día leo inglés, yo veo, a mí no me gusta ver, yo veo series en inglés, escucho música en inglés y no me gusta ver películas dobladas al español, las odio, no me gustan las voces dobladas, o sea, yo prefiero, cada vez, a veces estoy con mi esposa viendo una serie y le digo, eh, mira, yo siento raro porque en la, según lo que yo escuché en la serie dijeron una cosa pero la traducción dice otra, y es por interpretación, no es porque eso es lo que en realidad dijo. Uh -huh. Exacto. Suele ocurrir muchísimo, la verdad. Estaba viendo una película en la tele y cabal. Ajá. De, de sí. esos canales, creo que era Cinemax, no sé qué. Eh, tú pones la película y a pesar de que está en español, aparecen abajo los subtítulos. Sí, los captions. Uh -huh. Ay, no este, los y también estoy, bueno, con Duolingo. O sea, Duolingo tengo 80 días en racha ahorita y todos los días, aunque sea... Eh, yo tengo poco tiempo, la verdad, porque... Almuerzo, me dan un almuerzo una hora, ya salgo de mi casa a, a trabajar a las cinco y media, regreso casi a las siete y vengo al seno con mi esposa, vemos un ratito, vuelvo. Y bueno, o sea, así es mi rutina diaria. Eh, más que acabo de cambiar de trabajo, entonces es como que estoy más presionado porque estoy ahorita aprendiendo, o sea, tengo que ser una esponja ahorita. Entonces. Hey, pero pero pues, bueno, eh, en los videojuegos también están en inglés. Sí, este, esa es otra. He aprendido un montón de los videojuegos, como no se imagina. O sea, cuando uno juega más que todo en línea, uh -huh. la mayoría de personas no hablan español, hablan inglés. Y tengo Esta. varios amigos que juegan conmigo, que bueno, cuando tengo tiempo, porque no tengo... Antes jugaba más, hoy ya no. Ya ¿Qué jugas, la vida. Eh, Black Ops? O... Me gusta Call of Duty, me gusta FIFA. Algunas veces ya he jugado Dota, League of Legends, o sea... Eh, eh, cuando estaba más joven, cuando tenía más tiempo, sí pasaba horas y iba a frente a la computadora. Y tengo una computadora Echeo. para jugar, pero está, no la enciendo en la semana, que es el fin de semana. Y ahí está. Ahí está. Herencia. <risa> okay. Bueno, qué bueno. Eh, bueno, ¿qué estoy haciendo entonces? Súper bien, ¿eh? ¿eh? Bastante, pero entre todo lo que hago, ¿qué, qué es lo que más siento que me ayuda como a mejorar, eh, hablar? A clase, entonces. Sí, por lo menos a, a mí, bueno, yo soy, no sé si por lo mismo que yo siempre he estudiado y todo eso, o sea, yo aprendo de una manera como, vaya, 
le voy a ser honesto, o sea, como usted nos dio una, una vez, nos dio el método de estar repitiendo y llenando cuadritos de oraciones de diferentes tiempos, de esa forma es como la mejor que aprendo, porque yo soy bien metódico, o sea, yo para aprender algo, por lo mismo, o sea, cuando yo hago, cuando me dicen, mira, está fallando esto en una aplicación, ese paso es a seguir siempre, hay un procedimiento para seguir, si me piden un nuevo requerimiento que quiere una nueva, un nuevo feature o un nuevo una característica de una aplicación, va, definamos la, el flujo que, se va, que va a llevar la aplicación, el usuario, qué paso va a seguir para ocuparla. Entonces, así soy yo, o sea, soy bien metódico. Entonces, yo tengo que hacer un plan. Yo le llamo un lógica, yo le llamo lógica Ajá. eso. Tengo que hacer un proceso y yo sé que si yo me pusiera a hacer eso a diario, yo sé que aprendería tanto para escribir y para hablar también. Hacelo, pero agarro un cuaderno, mira, fe. esto es lo que yo le decía el primer día, mira. Yo me inventé esto hace como siete años y parece un tonto realmente, parece algo tan sencillo. Pensar en que solo voy a agarrar un verbo, una palabra que está relacionada al verbo y estoy pensando en español. Ok, pero ahora agarro un tiempo gramatical que siento que me cuesta y empiezo todos los días. Cinco de estos, mira, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, va. Y ya con el tiempo gramatical que he elegido, pues empiezo positivo, negativo, pregunta. Uh -huh. Pasó el lunes, ahora no me quedo solo con eso, ¿no? Uh -huh. Me agarro esto, me voy al traductor de Google, lo pego y escucho la, la pronunciación. Uh -huh. ¿Qué te va a pasar si haces esto? Vas a por lo más común. Cuando alguien empieza con el presente simple, por ejemplo, dice, you play the drums on, you don't the drums on Sundays, ponen cuando van con la negativa. ¿Por qué? Porque el cerebro se clava en que es negativa y tiene que ir el don't uh -huh. y se les olvida el verbo. Y eso es lo más claro. común. Entonces tú me hablas de procesos lógicos, de, 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 de pensar eh, deductivamente. Y espérate, aquí falta algo. Vea. Y te va a pasar. Sí, te sí. vas a topar con algo y vas a decir, you don't play drums Sundays. Que falta algo. Son, oh, la preposición. Ya, y ahí vas. Entonces sí, un, una buena recomendación es tener, hay muchos um, páginas web que te pueden ayudar. Vale, esto es una, pero primero que nada, agarremos una rutina todos los días, todos los días. Esto no te va a tomar ni cinco minutos llenarlo. Ok, uh -huh. se ve grande, pero sí, eh, no te va a tomar ni cinco minutos. Hay que hacer un poco de disciplina, agarrar el celular y ponerle alarmas, agendarme todos los días. ¿A qué horas tengo tiempo? Ah, bueno, no, de hecho, este, un amigo me regaló un Google Home Mini, está todo en inglés y para poner la alarma yo tengo que decir... Eh, ok, Google, wake up to music. Y le tengo, entonces me dice, what do you, no, what, what, do you mean? what, will, you, no, what would you like, what would you like to play, me dice. ¿Qué quieres escuchar? ¿Qué quieres escuchar? ¿Qué quieres Yo le digo que quiero escuchar y después le tengo que decir la hora en inglés. Y, al, y a veces le pregunto, por ejemplo, me gusta el fútbol, me gusta básquetbol. Yo le, en inglés me pongo a preguntarle a ver si me entiende eh, cuáles son los partidos para el día de mañana, de tal equipo. Y así, o sea... <risa> Y fue bien chistoso porque yo no lo quería en inglés, yo lo quería en español. Y no sé cómo cambiar el idioma porque no me he metido de lleno, entonces lo dejé en inglés y en inglés le trato de, de hablar. Pues. ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, Google, Google Home Mini. Google Ese Home es, Mini. Es, un, es una ruedita chiquita que la conecto a la corriente y es, como, es un asistente de Google. Usted lo tiene en su celular, pero ese es solo asistente y lo puede sincronizar con su teléfono, poner música, pedirle agendar agenda, uh, perdón, agendar reuniones. ¿Cómo? Es, es, es el Siri es, de es Google. Es un asistente. No, este, quiero ver. Siri es, es un asistente, pero está en la computadora. Más parecido a Alexa, quizás. Alexa es perdón, un asistente. Perdón, Alexa. Alexa es un es, es asistente. Quise decir Alexa, perdón. Sí, entonces es, es el Alexa es de parecido. Google. Es el Alexa de Google, solo que ese es el mini. Sí, porque Hay Alexa es de robusto. iPod, creo, no de iPhone. No, no, es de Amazon. De Am Alexa Ay, de Amazon. Sí, a ver, Fernando. Eh, bueno, esto ya lo tengo visto. Si estás en la computadora, chivo. Sí, aquí estoy. Sí, es, cuidado, es adictivo eso. Vamos a ver. Eh, si te gusta la música, ese sitio tiene una gran biblioteca, lo puedes instalar la app en el celular. Está y hay diferentes nada, opciones. Es dif está, ah, Lyrics Training. Ah, ok. ¿Ah? Ahorita que lo que yo más les recomiendo atacar es preposiciones, empecé un nivel beginner. Y por ejemplo, le puedes poner a tu esposa esta canción, ¿cómo es que se llama? De Ed Sheeran. Um, perfect. perfect okay. Ahí está perfect. Por ejemplo, eh, te da opciones. Empezar como karaoke, beginner, oh, intermediate, 
o crazy mode, creo que dice algo así. Mm. O are you crazy mode, <ríe> algo así. Ah. Porque es toda la letra. Entonces, si tú, bueno, travesialo ahorita, ponete a travesear, elegí una canción, la va a reproducir, te van a salir abajo las letras y espacios en blanco. Fill in the blanks. Entonces, ojo, si te equivocas, se va a detener la canción, se va a detener la letra y hasta que pongas la correcta va a continuar. Y arriba te aparece el puntaje que llevas. Puedes ir mejorando el puntaje. Esta ¿Y, cosa... ¿Y cómo se llama? ¿Lo que va a aparecer en blanco? ¿Tengo que yo hablarlo o escribirlo? No, lo tienes que escribir. Ir ah, seleccionando okay. ahí con el dedo. Hay dos opciones. Puedes escribir la palabra que falta o puedes eh, con el dedo, si lo tenés en el celular okay. o en sí, el sí. compu. Sí, sí. Lamentablemente no te lo puedo proyectar mejor que estamos grabando. Sí. <risa> e igual este, también estoy con... Quiero ver cómo se llama esto. Ya perdí la noción. No, ya perdí la noción de la creación. Pero, <risa> bueno. pero sí, la aplicación. Ah, este, no, esto que está viendo que en Duolingo, uh -huh. ahorita, yo tengo 70 días y de, hasta ahorita estoy sintiendo yo que me empieza a socar. O sea, antes no perdía vidas, hoy ya estoy perdiendo vidas en Duolingo. <risa> Se pierden vidas en Duolingo. Se pierden, son cinco vidas. Voy a empezar diarias. a probar otra vez esa aplicación. Yo la o sea, probé hace como cuatro años y no sé, no me agradó mucho. No, no, lo que pasa es que empieza uno bien lento. Pero si uno agarra rutina, a veces una lección diaria que son 5 o 10 minutos. Pero lo que pasa es que, por lo menos, eh, yo me doy cuenta. Vaya, yo entendía que, por ejemplo, los restrooms uh -huh. son, el segundo domingo son baños públicos. Uh -huh. Vaya, o sea, yo no lo conocí así. Yo baño era bathrooms, o sea, bathrooms nada más. Pero aquí me, está, me enseñó que... Bad, 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 bad room. rooms. Ajá. Ojo, bad Bathroom. Room, ok. Rest room. Ajá, rest room. Uh -huh. Que solo, y, está, solo hay un lugar para reposar. Y, 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 y Duolingo no es que uno lo lleva así como que, mira, hoy vas a, vas a ver, no lo pone en temática, solo simple y sencillamente él tira una lección y la gramática va apareciendo en la lección. No le dice, mira, hoy vamos a ver tal tiempo. Sí lo lleva como por categoría, pero hay unas lecciones que no. Y cuando son nuevas palabras las ponen morado, como que mira, primera vez que te estamos tirando esta palabra. Mm. O sea, se ha cambiado bastante, por decirlo así, porque yo lo ocupé hace bastante, pero ahora, o sea, uno pierde vidas. Este, cuando pierde las vidas, si no tiene premium, uno ya no puede seguir en el día. En el día, ya tienes que esperar sí, 24 puede gastar, horas. Puede, puede gastar gemas de las que uno va ganando con las mismas lecciones como para recuperar las vidas. Y no mm. es mucho, o sea, al final no es de que uno lo hace pagar obligatorio, no, o sea, es poca. Obviamente, si uno se pasa equivocando todo el día, obviamente sí, ¿verdad? Se acaba todas las gemas, se acaba la vida. <risa> pero hoy está la día medio curiosidad. Bueno, Fernando, ha sido un gusto, verdaderamente. Cualquier cosa, ahí estoy en el WhatsApp bueno. para cualquier consulta, ¿ok? Descansar. Bueno, gracias. Feliz noche. Good night. Gracias.